Hey, what's up there? Let's talk about the major Google algorithm update that's coming for you. Again, if you're a blogger, this is for you. You need to be aware of this change happening. And I'm going to show you proof that this major update will affect your website. Now I am on the official website for the Google index. And what they are saying is that they are evaluating a future Google algorithm update, which will focus mostly on user experience and that I'm not going to read the whole article for you because I'm going to put the link of this article down below on this official website for Google. But they say through both internal and industry research, users show the preferred site with a great page experience. What does that mean? It means that your website has to load fast and it has to be mobile friendly. Now, if you scroll down the article, it says the page experience signal measures aspect of how user perceive the experience of interacting with a web page. So Google now will start ranking on the first page for number one website that have great page experience. Now, how can you increase the page experience? It's by doing one thing. Okay. One thing from this update that is coming in 2021 is to reduce your bounce rate. This is very important because as Neil Patel says, if your bounce rate is high, you will tell Google that people don't like your page. So when people come on, on, on Google and they start searching for something, they, when they click on the result, they need a fast website. Why do you think for this keyword article forge crack again, article forge crack, I ranked number one for that keyword. When I made a video recently about exactly how I was doing an H2 title for Article Forge Crack, where I simply created an H2 title and I said, is there an Article Forge Crack? Just like you say here, is there an Article Forge Crack? And I answered the question, no, for the moment. And you see that Google has sort of taken that answer from my site and has easily displayed that for the person that is searching for the keyword article forge crack. So understand that I'm saying I'm on the first position 44 clicks just for that keyword. Now, the major algorithm update as well that you see on Google now is when people are searching for something, guess what you see now here, jump to this section. Again, Google did not have that two months ago or three months ago. Now people users are able to just skim to specific parts of your site that they want. Suppose I search article forge crack. If I come here and I click here, right here, guess what? It's going to open my site and directly take me to that section. Is there an article forge crack? No, for the moment there is not a crack that allows you to get article forge for free. Just a single answer, a one line answer and Google ranked me on the first page. See how I organized this post. I organized this post with great user experience. And again, again, these are the, 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 the metrics that Google takes into account because they want people to get answer for their questions. And so if you look at how I organize my post, which I've already shown you, if you come here, for example, on my YouTube channel and you click here under videos, and then you come here under SEO for beginner full course. Guess what? I show you exactly how I am able to create, to organize my SEO on my site in such a way that I rank number one. Again, there are blog posts on my site for which I rank even higher for a website that is new. I rank higher than New York times. I rank higher for some blog posts that entrepreneur than Forbes. And so if you look at how I organize this article, for example, first I give a quick introduction. Now I give a table of content. When Google scans my site, it understand that this is great for user experience because user can directly click on specific part and get exactly to where they want. This is, this is what we call user experience. First, your site has to load fast. Not only I have a table of content, but I have organized my table of content into H2 titles so that when, for example, Google will come again and just look at this answer right here and say, okay, if someone is searching for the keyword article forge crack, again, this is the answer that I should show them. And then that's exactly what happened. 
and look at how Google has taken my H2 title and organized them right here underneath. So if someone as well, not only here on Jump2, but if someone clicks here on what is Article Forge, it will open my content again and take them directly to that section, what is Article Forge. This is major because a lot of sites do not organize their sections in H2 titles. If you look at my website analytics, look at what happened with my bounce rate, look at what happened with my number of page views, look at what happened with my sessions. I have about a 77% increase in my session from last month. 77% increase in my number of visitors, but 179% increase in my number of page views, which is now at 15,000 from last month, because guess what happened? My website bounce rate decreased about 98%. Uh, again, a month ago, I was about at 90% bounce rate. Now I am at 1%, meaning that from Analytify statistics, when visitors come on my site, they like my site so much that on average, they spend about, they visit about 2.7 page. So if someone searches for something on Google and they land on that page, they are also able, or they are also likely to visit other pages on my site. And guess what? That's why my traffic is increasing. So if I go on Google again and I ask, for example, the question, how does Ezoic video work? A, a, a keyword question in the form of a question. And people often ask this question because if you look at here, people also ask, how do you use Ezoic, blah, blah, blah. They ask in form of questions. So if I go again here and I say, how does Ezoic video work? If I scroll down in one of my results, look at my site here, it, it says jump to how does Ezoic video player work? If I click that again, it's going to open my article and get me to that page. This, I, I cannot emphasize much on that. You see, now it took me to that, that part where user can easily read about what they want and then if they are done, they exit my site. That's why Google is ranking me for a lot of keywords on the first page because they realize that people like to come on my site. For the page experience, it says this precisely. Core Web Vitals are a set of real-world user-centric center metrics that quantify key aspects of the user experience. Again, Core Web Vitals. What are those core web vitals? Let me just show you what are those. Here, here are the core web vitals. The largest contentful paint, the first input delay, and the cumulative layout shift. It means that if you satisfy those criteria and you are good and you are in the good green section, Google will push your site and your result upward because your site will load fast and it will improve the user experience. Again, the loading interactivity and the visual stability. So if you go on Google PageSpeed Insight, which I'll also put the link down below, but you go on Google PageSpeed Insight, it's free. You type, for example, your domain name. So if I type neilpatel.com and I search for it, he has only a 31 page speed inside. But then guess what? The largest contentful paint take about 1.8 seconds to load. 1.8 seconds. So you understand that he is in the green. He is right here in the green because he's less than 2.5. This is why his blog posts are ranked on the first page, if not number one on Google. This is very, very, very important. This is how his website looks. And then the first contentful pane takes about 1.8 seconds to load. So this is major. This is major for Google. It means that you need to organize your content in H2. I cannot emphasize that much on that. Just look at my analytics. It should tell you something that six months from now, I am pretty sure my number of page views will probably quadruple. What I'm trying to say is this, 
if there is one thing that you need to remember is this is internal linking is very important organizing your blog posts in h2 titles are very important having the table of content that users can come on your site instead of reading the whole article they can get into sections of your site is very important organizing your post as well on the sidebar is very important by putting the recent post having some of your posts in the menu is also very important now if you go on my blog section another important thing that i started doing is that i started creating custom thumbnail or future images for my blog post best affiliate program best web hosting how to start a blog web ways to make money on tiktok how much to charge for tutoring a lot of increase in my number of keywords for which i ranked number one if you look at here there is about 66 increase 66 keyword new keyword for which i am in the top three position meaning either number one number two or number three overall i have 243 keywords for which i am number one or in the top three i have an increase about of 344 keywords for which i am now either at the fourth position or at the 10th position in between the fourth and the 10th and you see between the 10th and the 15th i have 2000 keywords between the 15th position and the 100th position 2000 keywords so you can understand that i have a lot of keywords for which i am increasing my traffic for and i'm ranking well apply the tips and i hope that helps your blog to grow faster if you want my help to create a beautiful website just like this one you can contact me at freeentrepreneur at gmail.com and i can create a beautiful website for you at a very cheap price we can discuss the details but i can reorganize your site for you i can make it fast I put the recent post just like you see on the home page but in any case i hope my videos can help you i have created so many videos already on blogging okay even if you don't need my help you can just go on my videos or playlist and then on the playlist you see i have 32 videos for blogging and seo you open that playlist and you will be able to see a lot a lot a lot a lot of videos and lastly what i want to talk about is that i i have already made a full guide on how to start a blog properly for beginners so i'll put the link down below if you visit my site the mms experience and you go here on entrepreneurship guide to start a blog you'll be able to land here and then i have put everything that you need again this is the table of content how to drive traffic i show you what plugins to install where to get free stock photo for your blog how i am able to make money with display ad affiliate marketing how do you get people to read your blog even my content creation process where i show you you need to pick a topic decide on the word count create an outline and if you didn't know as well bluehost is actually giving 60 percent off on new people that are getting to create their site so you understand that this is the best time to create your site because for black friday we start early with bluehost you have up to 60 percent off on website that you create so if you click on the link down below you'll be able to get here and you easily get started again there are so many tips that i provide on my website dmsexperience.com and on my channel the free entrepreneur that i am sure if you follow my advice over time your website will be great and until next time i want you to really take good care of yourself peace and don't forget to smash like and subscribe thank you